Hi, Hampton Bays. This is Mr. Walker. We're here at this special time of year. We do our varsity award ceremony. And at the same time, we also recognize uh, coaches that are leaving our programs, uh, either retiring or getting on uh, to different positions. This is a real special year this year. We have an all-star crew. Uh, we have Mr. Meehan, Mr. Pete Meehan, we have Mrs. Tony Daciano, and we have Mrs. Jean Poland, uh, who will be leaving us uh, in their positions this year. This is a time that we take to celebrate them, to recognize them. Uh, it's a very bittersweet time for me because these are people, I've been here for 22 years. These have been my mentors. These have been the people that I've looked up to and gone to, uh, to ask questions and to get help and to get feedback. Uh, this is gonna be a great loss uh, to our district uh, to lose these three and the experience and the time and the energy that they spend in the Hampton Bays. The first person I'd like to recognize tonight is Mr. Pete Meehan. Good to have you here, Mr. Meehan. Uh, on behalf of the school, we're gonna dedicate and give you uh, a shadow box here. It has our HB letter. We're gonna give that to all three uh, people tonight. And uh, on that, it says to Pete Meehan that we thank you for your years of dedication, service to the Hampton Bay School District and community and the athletic program Go Bam and Pride. Uh, Pete, we just can't thank you enough. Uh, you did retire from teaching at the high school level uh, back in 2018. You have coached so many different levels here at Hampton Bay, over 62 seasons. Uh, you've been JV golf coach, you did basketball for 24 years, baseball for 28 years, you coached middle school football and middle school baseball. Not only that, you've also coached at the college level at St. Joseph and Suffolk Community. You have left your mark here at Hampton Bays. Uh, you're such a hard worker and such a good friend. The things that I remember about you, um, you know, to go along with your coaching is your summer camp experience. You've done 27 years of that doing either baseball or basketball or both in the summers, trying to develop your programs and trying to give kids the opportunity to play over the summer and get better uh, in those sports. You've always prepared. I've always watched all your practices. And uh, when I watch your practices, the preparation that goes into basketball and baseball, your scouting and the time that you take uh, for that, the, uh, the preparation I see to get the kids ready for your games, um, baseball, the, the, uh, your practice uh, pitch counts or your, your hit charts for your, your hitting. Um, you're just uh, a true professional that way, always prepared, always trying to get your kids ready to compete at the highest level. I always remember you as team first and team last. Team was very important to you, uh, very important to how you try to run your program and your philosophy. I always remember what's next. Uh, always, and I think this is very important now at this time uh, with the situation that we're facing with the virus is what is next? How can we pick ourselves up? How do we handle and go on to the next situation? And I always thought that was a great, uh, great way to talk to the kids to try to have them get through a problem or an issue or a bad shot or a bad hit or a mistake. Um, and that was just, uh, I always, always loved that comment when you said it to the kids. Sportsmanship, you've been a true sportsman. You're not, uh, you've always been a vocal sometimes to officials or to umpires, and, but yet you've always done it in a way that they respected. You've always shaken their hands at the end of the contest. Um, you've always uh, talked things out if there was issues. And that's generated and that's come out into being recognized. You've been recognized many, many times for baseball, the you and the team and the spectators uh, for baseball, but I believe it was at least nine or 10 years in a row uh, for the last, you know, last nine or 10 baseball seasons that you were recognized. Uh, you've been recognized at the county level by the Umpire Association, you and your program, and basketball, you've had two county recognitions. You were just recognized this year uh, by the, uh, your league in basketball. You're also coach of the year. Uh, for your basketball uh, team and for your league. Um, just a great job with sportsmanship. You've always held yourself to a high standard. Um, other things I remember, I love watching baseball and waiting for you, the kids to steal home. Uh, that was always a special play that you set up. We've won some big games with that and uh, always like looking for that. I've always loved your number system for baseball, yelling out numbers instead of using hand gestures, uh, this or that. Pete, you're such a uh, great friend uh, to me. You've been a great mentor. You've been a great help to this athletic program. I can't thank you enough on behalf of the, all the students that you've affected, the, uh, 
all the teaching staff, the leadership team, the community. We can't thank you enough for your years of uh, dedication to the Hampton Bay School District. We wish the best to you. We will have you back for JV Golf, but we are losing you uh, for varsity basketball and varsity baseball. Thank you so much and good luck. Thanks, Drew. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Pete. <laughs> Okay, next up, I'd like to have Tony Daciano uh, come on out. I'd like to give her our HB letter. Uh, Tony, uh, 35 years at Hampton Bays, just an amazing uh, run here at the Bays. Um, you've put in so much time into not only your teaching, uh, but also into extracurricular activities, into coaching, and your student government. Um, RC Gymnastics, a program that uh, you're very passionate about gymnastics when you came here, and you got an intramural program started. You worked with the cheerleading squad. Um, you got gymnastics started in 1990. You did 15 years of RC gymnastics here. Um, you did 30 years of middle school gymnastics and uh, also intramurals at the same time. Uh, just an amazing run. You put such your heart and passion into gymnastics. Uh, I know you love the sport so much. You uh, really tried to develop the kids in that sport and uh, create a great experience for them. At the same time, you've also coached middle school girls soccer, JV boys soccer, middle school girls volleyball, and JV softball. A total of 57 seasons. Uh, just an amazing, amazing run here at Hampton Bays. The things that I'll always remember about you is you are fun, you are fun, okay? You are, it's the slur uh, Slurpee runs, uh, with the kids, it's the enthusiasm, it's the passion, it's the excitement, the way that you teach and coach and you interact with people. Uh, it's your positive comment walls that you put up during gymnastics. I remember at the high school, uh, you know, putting up all those, you know, personal best or shout outs to your, your athletes on the gymnastics team. What you did at the beginning when I look back at your records and I saw when you first started that program, as we all do, we cut our teeth and we, we develop a program. And uh, two wins in the first three years, two wins. But I, what was telling to me is when I looked in the next three years of the yearbook, there was 24 wins over the next three years, eight wins. Uh, it just gave me goosebumps of how the work and effort that, that you developed over years uh, to bring that program and, and to develop to what you wanted to be and where you wanted to head. Um, I have to give you credit. I moved to Nexus equipment twice a year. <laughs> twice a year only, and I tell you, I don't really look forward to it from the high school and now to the middle school uh, that we, you know, since the middle school's been around, you've done it for 30 years, moving equipment every day with your coach and your, your players. I just have to give you credit for that. Um, your science results in your classroom and what you've done as a teacher is uh, amazing, again, in the student council. On behalf of myself, the school, my family, we can't thank you enough uh, for everything that you've done. Uh, for Hampton Bays and our kids here would be greatly missed um, and we wish the best to you and whatever you decide to do after this. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, next up, let's like ask Jean Poland to come on up. Jean, 39 years, 39 years at Hampton Bays. Uh, again, another great run. As I said at the beginning, this is an all-star crew. Um, 69 seasons, uh, Jean has coached different, uh, different teams throughout her time here. She's coached, I'm gonna go come back to softball, but she has been part of JV field hockey. Uh, she's done uh, not only middle school softball as well as varsity softball. She's done middle school volleyball, middle school girls soccer, and middle school girls basketball. Um, what Jean is, her, her great run, um, she has a great year in everything that she coaches, but she, for her softball career, she went 333, 117, and one tie uh, over her 20, 21 year career. 13 county championships. She went to the New York State Finals, which is the Final Four, six times. 1992, 94, 95, 96, 2000, and 2001. Um, we've never had another team reach uh, the final four to go there six times is such an amazing uh, accomplishment. It's, uh, uh, it's a, just to speak to your uh, what you've done and what you've developed in that softball program the winning capacity, the winning feeling, the attitude, the skill level to develop at that, at that high level. Uh, 
No one's going to probably touch that here at Hampton Bays. It's an amazing accomplishment, uh, something that will always live uh, long and dear uh, with Hampton Bays, especially with your softball alumni. Uh, you've been an amazing teacher, 7 through 12, throughout your career. I can't thank you enough. You have been my administrative assistant, especially when the middle school opened up uh, at the PE level and at the, uh, at the athletic level. I can't thank you enough for what it's meant to me. Um, your Suffolk County uh, Teacher of the Year um, for middle school, which is a great accomplishment, and it speaks to your interactions, your preparation, your planning, your energy that you put in uh, to the kids. I will always remember your competitiveness, your um, passion for the sports that you coached. I love when you coached with Tony uh, Doss because soccer it was good cop, bad cop, and it was uh, it was a great combination. Uh, but Gene, you always uh, took advantage of all teachable moments when I saw you work with kids in the classroom and on the field. You were positive, you developed them to be the best people and the best players that they could be or the best students they could be. Uh, amazing, amazing job and career. Uh, you will be forever uh, remembered here and greatly missed. Um, I wish the best to you and Mike uh, after Hampton Days. And uh, again, we just can't thank you enough from everybody. Thank you. Okay. I'd like to ask all three to come on back in if they could for one second, just to give one final uh, array for them. Okay, over 200 contests, uh, oh, I'm sorry, over 200 seasons that these coaches have put in uh, coaching uh, here at Hampton Bays. Again, this is the all-star team. The other thing that made these guys amazing always in my 22 years here, again, not only being helpful and being mentors, but they always showed up to watch the other teams and the other sports who, who showed up for playoffs and showed up for postseason or to root on kids that they had in their teams that maybe were playing other teams. Uh, it's just an amazing, uh, amazing group. Greatly missed personally and from the district and from the community. I wish the best to all three of you. And uh, God bless, and we wish the best of health and uh, in retirement for all three of you. Thanks, Drew. Thanks. Thank you. Hello, seniors. Uh, welcome back. And at this point of our ceremony, usually at Giorgio's, we would call our seniors up. We would announce the uh, sports that you completed as varsity athletes, the number of years that you did that sport. We would give you a plaque. Uh, we do have plaques made up for you. They will be put into your graduation packets. And I am going to do that a little bit later on. Um, but because we're in a different, uh, you know, we're a different time right now, we're doing a video presentation. I am going to take time to maybe speak to you. Uh, which is some of my thoughts, and be able to share something that I probably wouldn't be able to do at the dinner because of all the things we have to do at our dinner. So if you could, I hope that you could watch the whole thing, um, and I hope you, uh, you know, I hope maybe some of my thoughts uh, that I share with you resonate with you. So uh, seniors, you've been through a, a tough finish here. It's, it is definitely, I understand, disappointing. Uh, I understand things that have you were expecting and planning to do and looking forward to some of those those things have not happened it's a different time i understand that the covid 19 has been a game changer with that um, but it's also a new challenge as even me getting a time to talk to you in this video here and, and talk to you a little bit more it is a new challenge it's a new opponent uh, that we have to get ready for uh, and we have to be able to adjust and adapt to things. That's really important. I'm hoping you've learned a little bit of that through your athletic experience or school experience here at Hampton Bays. I have some questions for you just for you to think about. You know, find out things that need to get done. You know, try to keep your focus. Um, you know, what, what uh, doors are opening because of situations that are happening now that might be an avenue for you to do something for a job or to help somebody. Um, you know, what is it that you need to get done for yourself and set up a plan? What's your attitude? It's very important. The attitude is extremely important. As you know, being a team member and being part of the athletic program, or it is important what the people around you, their attitude and their behavior, be solutions oriented. Make sure that you try to come up with solutions with any issues that you're facing as you're moving forward. Try to be that, that person out there who's not the naysayer, but also you know, trying to come up with 
ways to answer, change, uh, adjust, or adapt to situations that you're, you're put in. I think new doors will open for you in this class. I think this is a, this class, uh, although it's been disappointing, I think is a class that will have different doors that will open up and you need to be aware of that and take advantage of those opportunities and be looking for them. Very important for me, a question for you is how can you help someone else? You know, we talk about all the time, the, all the fundraising and the food drives and the coaches versus cancer, the things that we talk about and preach in school. And uh, we are all in this together and we do need to help other, uh, other people. There's people that need our, our help and support and that is valuable and it's valuable for us personally and also that would be very helpful to, our, helpful to our neighbor. So look out, ask a question, how can you help someone else and what could you do? Uh, focus on what you control. That's, uh, you don't, don't have control of everything. So focus on what you have control of. Uh, you can control your atti attitude and you can try to make your experiences better. So you can control that. Never stop working to be the best that you can be. Um, and also when things get hard and you will stumble or fall as we all do uh, keep moving forward um, keep looking ahead you know we are all strong and we all can overcome obstacles so I, I think those I think through our athletic experiences and hopefully what your coaches have shared or maybe what you've experienced those are some of my thoughts for you on top of that um, my hope through your athletic experiences that um, I'm hoping that your experiences in athletics has made you stronger. I'm hoping it, that you are competitive. This is a competitive world. Um, it is important to work hard. It's, it's important to reach for a goal and it's important to, to be competitive. So I'm hoping that you take that into whatever area you go into. Um, very important to me, athletics, is that you're, you're part of something bigger than yourself. I think that's one of the biggest attributes of athletics, uh, that you're part of a team, and that you have to answer to other people and your actions, uh, you're accountable to other people in that team, and it does have an effect. So it is very important, it's a global economy, uh, it's a global environment. It is important to be part of a team, bringing that positive attitude with solutions oriented, uh, answers for people so uh, being part of a team I hope it was valuable for you I hope you take those experiences with you I hope you had great memories I hope through um, through late night games under the lights uh, through big events through your peers coming to watch you or you supporting your peers at, at games uh, through the bus uh, the bus trips uh, locker room from the uh, to the dinners pasta parties and dinners part of the games. I hope you had some great memories that you could take with you. I know there's probably some that are tough. Sports is not perfect and it is challenging. And, uh, but I hope you have some positive memories that you can take with you. I really hope you made some friendships uh, that you can take with you from Hampton Bays. I hope you found some connection with some of your friends or peers uh, or teachers or coaches. Uh, I, that's really important. And the last thing is that we are always here for you. My hope is that you always know that you can come on back to Hampton Bays, uh, that you can reach out to us, that we are there for you and uh, to help you in transition to college or to anything else. So uh, please come on back. Please come back and see us. This group was a special group. It's 46 strong. Uh, it's not a large group. As a matter of fact, it's one of the smallest groups we've had in, in a long, long time. But when I look top to bottom and I look at the male and female athletes out of the 46, this is an extremely strong group of, of um, not only good athletes, but good teammates, uh, very good personalities, positive attitudes, and people that really help to make their teams better. And uh, so I really commend you on that. It was a great year, as I said before in my introduction, if you got to see it, there's some great accomplishments that happened this year that this class will be remembered for, and it will be not about the uh, virus, it will be about the, uh, what you did here and what you left here uh, at Hampton Bays. So now I'm going to just announce the uh, seniors and the sports that they have participated in. I'm gonna go through all 46 names. Again, you'll get those plaques in your graduation uh, packets. First up, we have Gianna Antiri, field hockey, two years. 
Luisa Ramos Reyes, soccer, three years, spring, track and field, three years. Lily Candelaria, volleyball, three years, basketball, three years, softball, three years. Tessa Conklin, football cheerleading, four years, competitive cheerleading, one year. Elizabeth Daniels, gymnastics, four years, competitive cheerleading, two years. Evelyn Garcia, football cheerleading, two years. Joanna Gonzalez, soccer, one year. Pamela Grajales, soccer, two years, field hockey, two years, basketball, four years, and softball, four years. Rebecca Heaney, varsity girls soccer, three years, basketball, four years, softball, four years. Brianna hemmings Laren, tennis, three years. Marissa Kennedy, tennis, four years. Hannah Mall, field hockey, two years. Sky McMorris, volleyball, two years. Mia Millenhausen, field hockey, four years. Sarah O, oh, I'm sorry, Mia Millenhausen, also spring track and field, one year. Sarah O, volleyball, two years. Emily Payton, field hockey, four years. Basketball, one year. Softball, three years. Tiffany Reyes, field hockey, four years. Mariana Serreria, soccer, I'm sorry, uh, lacrosse, four years. Marin Smith, Volleyball, two years. Riley Stotsky, tennis, four years. Lacrosse, one year. Ecoline Yurzar, soccer, one year. Isabella Badespio, gymnastics, Southampton, two years. Lillian Vaccaro, soccer, three years. Spring track and field, one year. Christopher Barrow, soccer, I'm sorry, Christopher Barrow's football, one year. Jack Billingham, cross country two years, winter track four years, spring track and field four years. Steve Benia, soccer two years, winter track two years, spring track and field two years. Lucas Brown, football four years, basketball three years, uh, baseball one year, and spring track and field one year. Aaron Butters, football two years, basketball two years. Erica Sal, Football, one year. Baseball, two years. Nicholas Corridor, cross country, one year. Football, three years. Varsity wrestling, four years. Spring track and field, one year. Demetrius Tiberios, varsity boys soccer, two years. Miguel Flores, soccer, one year. Jack Gilbert, football, three years. Cross country, one year. Winter track, one year. Spring track and field, four years. Jamar Jones, baseball, two years. Danny King, tennis, four years. Willie Krause, wrestling, four years. David Madison, winter track, four years. Spring track and field, three years. Stephen Mora, football, one year. Basketball, two years. Uh, and spring track and field, uh, one year. Milan Morega. Soccer, three years. Winter track, one year. Spring track and field, four years. Jade Notati, basketball, three years. Base, baseball, five years. Kyle Rodriguez Herrera, football, two years. Basketball, two years. Wrestling, one year. Spring track and field, two years. Nicholas Pacheco, football, two years. Wrestling, four years. Jonathan Salas Fernandez, football three years, basketball one year, spring track and field two years. Kevin Sheridan, golf one year, basketball two years, baseball two years. Quinn Smith, football four years, winter track three years, spring track and field four years. Anthony Toledo, soccer two years, spring track and field one year. Uh, Alexander Urbano, soccer two years, last but not least, Diego Bavar, soccer, two years, winter track, two years, and spring and track, four years. Um, special shout out to, uh, to some of our student athletes, our seniors that are going to the Armed Forces. Uh, and a special thank you for serving, uh, serving us and taking care of us. And we want to wish you the best of health uh, the best of success as you travel on. Aaron Butters going to the Air Force. Jack Gilbert going to the Navy. Kyle Rodriguez going to the Air Force. And Anthony Toledo heading to the Marines. We wish the best for you. I hope you take your lessons from 
athletics, I'm sure you will, and take those into those fields, uh, into the military, uh, and do a great job. Seniors, thank you so much. As you heard that list, we have so many of you uh, that have been invested in our program for years. Uh, and I appreciate that. The coaches appreciate We appreciate your effort. We wish the best for you. Remember to adapt and overcome. Uh, remember to face your challenges. Come in with a positive attitude. Okay, and work hard at what you need to do. New doors may open for you. We wish the best. Seniors in 2020, you will be greatly missed. HB Strong. Welcome to the presentation of the Hampton Bays Athletic Spirit Scholarship Award. I am John Noonan, the president of Hampton Bays Booster Club. To present this award virtually is quite strange. We normally do this at varsity dinner, as has been done for the last 30 plus years. But these are changing times, so we will adapt. Hampton Bay's Booster Club raises money for the student athletes of the school. Everything we do is for the kids. This amazing community allows us to provide $4,000 in scholarships this year to graduating seniors. It allows us to provide a spectacular varsity dinner that we do every year that we could not do this year. It allows us to fund football dinners. We bought the baseball team a new windscreen. We installed cameras in the gym and on the football fields uh, that will be spectacular for next year. Uh, without spending money on varsity dinner, we were able to provide the seniors with their lawn signs. All of this is great. All of this is for the kids. None of this would be possible without our sponsors who support us in everything that we ask in our halftime basketball events, in buying a trailer, in doing all of the little things. Pooltastic, Schmitz, Scottos, Oakland, Skidmore's, Image Advertising, Shinnecock Hardware, Villa Paul, Buckley's, Edgewater, Melrose, Rumba, all step up every time that they are asked, and every business in Hampton Bays does. Those are a few that I think of right away. None of this will be possible without the volunteers of Booster Club who do a great job on a continuous basis, whether it be at football games, at San Gennaro, at basketball games, at our annual fundraiser. Hampton Bay's community supports their school, supports their student athletes, and does a great job. Tonight we get to present two winners, a boy and a girl, who will win the Hampton Bay's Spirit Award. Both of these athletes are everything that Hampton Bay's could ask for in an athlete. The girls' winner tonight is Rebecca Heaney. Congratulations, Rebecca. Rebecca has been a girls' soccer MVP, a girls' basketball MVP. She has been leader of the game, rookie of the year. She has done everything. She has been out there giving it her all with so much heart. Congratulations to Rebecca. She will be attending SUNY Cortland in the fall. We wish you nothing but the best. The boys' winner is Quinn Smith. Quinn, congratulations. Quinn's list of accolades is beyond reproach. He has done everything. Uh, MVPs and leader of the games and hustle awards and New York State champion. He has accomplished it all in his career at Hampton Bays. We could not be prouder. He is on his way to SUNY Buffalo to continue his shot put career. We wish him nothing but the best. We can't wait to read about him on the national stage, as we're sure that we will. Quinn holds a very special place in my heart. I have known Quinn since he was seven years old, playing football for me. Quinn, at seven years old, was built to be an offensive lineman. He petitioned us until we couldn't take it anymore and allow him to run the football. He needed to be a running back. When he ran over four players, we realized he probably should be a running back. Uh, Quinn can do anything he puts his heart to. I could not be happier that this award has been given to him. Congratulations to Rebecca. Congratulations to Quinn. Congratulations to all of the seniors graduating this year. I know it's been difficult and different, but you'll have some great stories to tell. We wish you all the best, whether you are on your way to college, the military, or have other plans. We wish you nothing but the best. Congratulations and thank you.
It's an honor tonight to announce uh, some of our senior scholarship winners. We're so fortunate in Hampton Bays to have the Booster Club and the Doc Fallon family uh, who donates money each year uh, to our senior student athletes. I'm gonna first start off with Doc Fallett uh, Memorial Scholarship Fund Athletic Award. Uh, Doc Fowl was a former doctor in Hampton Bays, uh, helped a lot with the wrestling program and wrestling across Section 11. He was uh, one of the first sports medicine doctors uh, that really dealt uh, specifically with athletic injuries and trying to get kids back in the, to play around the field. Um, their family donates $500 to two winners that is selected by the coaches. Uh, this selection process for any of the awards is always difficult. There's always people that are uh, worthy, but maybe are not selected of uh, getting one of the scholarship awards. It is difficult, uh, but a lot of time and effort and energy and thought does go into it. So again, I'm going to begin by announcing the Doc Fallett Memorial Scholarship uh, Fund Athletic Award. This award is given to a graduating senior who has demonstrated sportsmanship, dedication, hard work, and teamwork on the athletic fields and in the classroom while competing in at least two sports. Their presence as a positive role model helps to make the people around them better. This year, the male recipient is Lucas Brown. Lucas Brown will be attending Suffolk Community College. Lucas was a four-year uh, football player, a three-year varsity basketball player, and a one-year baseball player and one year varsity track. Some of his honors, uh, Lucas was in 2019-20, he was football all county. In 2019-20, he was the basketball MVP and basketball all week. In 2018-19, he was the basketball MVP. In 2018-19, he was also basketball all week. Uh, congratulations to Lucas and, Lucas and his family. Uh, great job, Lucas. The female winner this year goes to Elizabeth Daniels. She'll be attending Coastal Carolina University. Elizabeth did gymnastics for four years. She also was on the competitive cheer team for two years. Uh, this year, Elizabeth was uh, the gymnastics uh, MVP 2019-20. She was also gymnastics all league this year and last year. And also this year, uh, Elizabeth was a gymnastics leader of the game. Congratulations to both Lucas and Elizabeth and your families. Uh, we wish the best to you after Hampton Bays. Good luck. The next award that I have the privilege to present is the Bayman Pride Award. This comes from the Hampton Bays Booster Club. It is $500 uh, for both of the recipients that are selected, one male and one female. The Bayman Pride Award, this award is given to a graduating senior who's demonstrated the characteristics of perseverance and determination both on the sports field and in the classroom while competing in at least two sports. This year, uh, the male recipient is Nicholas Corridor, who plans on attending Stony Brook University. Nick is a, a three-year varsity football player, one year varsity cross country, and four years of varsity wrestling. In 2018-19, he was a football second team all league. In 2018, 2019-20, 18-19, and 17-18, he was the wrestler leader of the game. And in 2017-18, uh, Nicholas was the Wrestling Hustle Award winner. Congratulations to Nicholas and to your family. Great job. Our female winner this year is Rebecca Heaney. Rebecca is planning on attending SUNY Cortland. Rebecca was a three-year uh, participant on the varsity girls soccer team, four years varsity girls basketball, and four years on varsity softball. Uh, this year, she was a 2019-20 girls soccer MVP. She was also the girls basketball leader of the game this year. Last year, she was a girls basketball MVP. Uh, also, she was a girls basketball league six rookie of the year in 2018-19. And in 2018-19, she was Hampton Bay softball leader of the game. Congratulations to Nicholas and Rebecca and to your families. 
I would wish the best of luck to you also after Hampton Bays, uh, and good luck. Hello, Hampton Bays. I'm Lawrence Clevenson, the Superintendent of Schools, and I'm proud to be here to announce uh, some of our senior scholarship winners. I want to give a congratulations to all of our athletes uh, for a very unique year, um, but a Bayman pride, Bayman proud packed year. Um, athletes demonstrate perseverance on the court and off the court, and during this COVID challenge, uh, perseverance has never been more important. So. Um, I'm proud to have uh, been watching our athletes continue with their fitness at home, uh, eating healthy, keeping their bodies and minds in shape because in the 2020-21 school year, we're going to be back and we're going to need our athletes strong, healthy, and ready to compete for Hampton Vegas. So uh, we thank our seniors. Uh, we know this was a uh, very unique and way to end the year and your athletic career at Hampton Bays and not the way you wanted to do that necessarily. Uh, but it doesn't change how proud we are of you and how much uh, we hope for in your future. So congratulations to all of you and thank you for being part of the Bayman Athletic Program. Our coaches uh, put in a tremendous amount of time with our kids on the field and courts and off as well, worrying about their development and their competition and their sportsmanship and uh, making sure they're well-rounded. Well so uh, I thank our coaches as well. Uh, certainly our booster club for all they do to make sure that Bayman pride is known throughout Long Island and New York State. And our parents who are committed from the early days of t-ball and youth basketball and, and uh, PAL football and all, the, and all of the programs that we do in our backyard, starting with our little ones to our graduates today. Parents uh, help set the standard and set the tone for um, a well-rounded athletic program. So thank you to you for your support. Okay, two awards that we're going to give out today. The Scholar Athlete Award is a prestigious award presented to a young woman and a young man from the class of 2020 who have attained a high cumulative GPA during their four years at Hampton Bays High School. These students must participate in at least two sports and have received postseason honors in the sports which they participate. This award goes to two really fantastic Baymen in the class of 2020. Jaden Otati will be attending Suffolk Community College next year. Jaden has a uh, really remarkable record here at Hampton Bays High School uh, as a basketball player and a baseball player. Uh, he played basketball for three years, baseball for five, and graduates with a 95 uh, weighted average. 2018-19 school year was a great year for him in baseball. He was leader of the game, all league, and MVP. In 2019-20 this school year, baseball leader of the game, basketball Eastern official scholarship winner, basketball all-county academic award, section 11 basketball Williams award, basketball league seven Jim Lynch unsung hero award, and our basketball MVP. Congratulations to you, Jaden, and best of luck in your career. Our Female Scholar Athlete Award is presented to Pamela Grahalis. Pamela heads north to the University of Buffalo next year and enjoyed a fantastic career at Hampton Bays High School as a field hockey player, girls soccer, girls basketball, and softball. She graduates with a 93.83 weighted average. 2018-19, Pamela was earned girls basketball all league honors, and this year, girls soccer all division. Pamela graduates after playing all 12 seasons of varsity athletics during her high school career. Congratulations to you, Pamela, and best of luck. Our next award, the John J. Pizzarelli All-Around Award. Coach Pizzarelli was my coach for middle school basketball many years ago. We remember him uh, by honoring his name and his memory with an all-around award. This award is given to a young man and woman who over their entire career in the high school have demonstrated athletic prowess in several sports, resulting in postseason honors in those sports. They've also represented the school and the community in the highest fashion. This award goes to Quinn Smith and Lily Candelaria. Quinn will participate in the track and field program, in collegiate athletics at the University of Buffalo next year, and Lily will play softball at New York University in Manhattan. Congratulations to both of those winners. Little background on each of these uh, two fine award winners today. Quinn Smith graduates with an 89.74 weighted average. 
and in his very involved athletic career at Hampton Bays High School, he played football, winter track, and spring track for all four years. 2017-18, Quinn was recognized with football second team all division. He qualified for the New York State Spring Track Championships and Spring Track MVP and Leader of the Game honoree. 2018-19, the momentum built. Quinn earned Spring Track Discus, third in Section 11, Suffolk County, second in the New York State Championships, small school, and second in the Federation. In Spring Track, he finished fourth in the New York State Championship small school competition for shot put. And in spring track also, small and large shot put champion and small school discus champion. 2018-19, he was also the section 11 shot put champ. He finished sixth in New York State, winter track MVP, football second team all division. 2019-20, so football MVP, football all county, winter track MVP, in section 11, he placed second place in the shot put. And in March, with the help of the Hampton Bays Fire Department, we welcomed the Smith family back into Hampton Bays to recognize our New York State shot put champion for winter track. Set a school record of 60 feet. He was all Long Island first team shot put. Congratulations to Quinn. Lily Candelaria, also our salutatorian, graduates with a 101.84 weighted average. As she, heads to the new, as she heads to NYU next year, she's going to be remembered for her work on the girls' volleyball team, girls' basketball team, and girls' varsity softball team. In 2016, Lily was recognized with softball All-League and Rookie of the Year honors. In 2017-18, she earned softball All-League honors. In 2018-19, Lily was recognized with softball All-Division and the Hampton Bay Softball Hustle Award. 2019-20, a big year for Lily. Softball leader of the game, girls basketball, all county academic honors, girls basketball, all league, girls volleyball, all county academic honors, girls volleyball, all league, Hampton Bay's leader of the game, and Hampton Bay's girls volleyball MVP. Lily, you head off to NYU with an impressive career at Hampton Bay's. Congratulations to you. Quinn, congratulations to you. Also for a remarkable career, we wish you luck at the University of Buffalo. Congratulations to our winners of the Scholar Athlete Award and the John J. Pizzarelli All-Around Award. I'd also like to recognize three of our coaches who retire after very committed and successful careers. Coach Pete Meehan, Coach Tony Dossiano, and Coach Gene Poland. They've coached softball, gymnastics, uh, soccer, uh, basketball, golf, baseball. Uh, they have changed the lives and trajectories for generations of athletes. Uh, they were often the first cars in the parking lot, the last to leave seven days a week, every season of the year. Uh, their absence next year will be noted. It will be noticeable, uh, but they've set the standard for Bayman Athletics, a high standard. We wish them well in their retirement. We thank them for being HB Strong and for their commitment to the Bayman. Thank you.